everyone. Little Gems Creations 1 here, and Beastmaster 1 is my sidekick today. Say hi, Beastmaster. No. I mean, hi. Okay, so today we're going to be working on um, doing some seed trays. And we're going to start that in just a minute. Today we're going to be doing some seed trays and the first thing I do is I make my seeding soil. Now some people um, just go and buy whatever seeding soil they can get at their gardening store but what I do is I make my own mix. So I use um, peat moss Peat moss, see? Peat moss. I use vermiculite and Pearl. I also use perlite. And then I use some leftover dirt from the previous season growing. So here's how we get started. First, we get our scissors, Beastmaster. Scissors, scissors are oh, right there. And we're going to open scissors. up the peat moss. I'm not going to open it all the way. Now I just use an old flower pot to use as my scoop. It's got holes in the bottom. Ow. And I'm going to do one part peat moss. Okay, get that out of the way. And then I'm going to do one part vermiculite. vermiculite. Whoops. Okay, and this is what vermiculite looks like. It's just to put some air in your soil. And then a little bit of vermic. I'm gonna use one part perlite. Whoops! And again, it's to help air your soil. And this is what perlite looks like. It looks like styrofoam. Whew. Okay, so I do one part of all those, and then I mix it. Can I mix it? Nope, not yet. Oh. Then. We need the dirt. Wrap it up. Okay, this is where we would need our composting bin so we can put the dead stuff in it. Yeah, where do we put the oh, I brought back I think you brought it back down. So we're gonna put it in a little bucket. Yeah, we'll put it in a little bucket. Ooh, yeesh. This can go in with the so then you should take the Um, okay, so we will be back once we have a bucket. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, so now we're back and Beastmaster is going to do the mixing. And we're gonna we did one, two, one, two, three parts of the other stuff. So we'll go at least three parts of six it. parts of dirt. Dang. Okay. And this is just last year's dirt, which already has this stuff in. You can start mixing. Huh. So that was two. Don't throw it everywhere, please. Three. Four. Five. And see, oh, okay. I'm bad at mixing. Yeah, you just gotta not be so aggressive about it. So, you know what? I'm gonna go eight. You see, it's got this really fine. No, it doesn't. Seven. It's got this really interesting texture. It's got the fine dirt, but then it also has the 
Not so fine. Other stuff. Mm -hmm. And eight. There, so we'll give that a nice mix all around. Okay. What? And then, okay. a bang. Good, good, good. You have okay. it. Now, we are going to need one of our seed trays, which Beastmaster will get. Sorry about the noise. And I have these cells that I use. Okay, so this is a tray. I treated myself to a new one this year. Um, you know what, Beastmaster? You can bring all those trays in because we will need them today. Okay. Paper can go into the compost. Can you close the door so we can keep the warm air in? Okay. So I'm just putting the paper in our composter because that's all doable. This place has 20 degrees Celsius. So that's yeah, we're at 20 degrees today, so that's nice. That's so, so she's not Fahrenheit. Yes. It's not really cold. So we're going to take one of these trays, put the others out of our way. Okay. And now what Beastmaster is going to do is take one of the cells. Can you see this? Yeah. He's so, going to take, nope. Now what you're going to do is you're going to scoop doopy -doop. into there. You see, this is how the professionals do it. They go like scoop. We are not professionals. We are definitely not professionals. We just do the best we see, can. You just kind of drizzle it in there. Okay, come on. This is going to take forever. <laughs> Fine. Spice. Okay, and then we're just going to give it a little shakedown, and then we're going to put it in our tray, and we're going to do all the cells. So come on, Beastmaster. Here, put so, it in. You put it in the bin so that... Um, if you drop any dirt, you're not wasting it. No, no. And now, this master's gonna use his hand to just wipe off any. You want and it, you're gonna go towards the corners that don't. You want it to be there. level. You don't want it to be overflowing because if it's overflowing, exactly. I don't know what Next one. And try. Okay. And same thing. We're just gonna scoop up, and this is our seeding mix that we just created. Okay, and now. Hope you can see in here. We're just gonna go like this and get it all nice and flush. And there we go. So we've done three. You've got the gist. Now you use the rest of them to fill up your tray and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got all these full. So now what we're gonna do is <coughs> Beastmaster went and got our watering can totally full of the hottest water our tap will produce. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's steamy. So we're going to take this. We are going to water these cells with this very hot water. Okay, we're going to give them a really good drink. And then we are going to quickly put on the lid. Okay, and then we're going to move it out of the way, and then we're going to start seeding, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Now we're going to start seeding. Now our first seeds that we're going to do are some marigold seeds. Now I collect the marigold seeds before they freeze. And every time I deadhead my plants, which if you're not sure what that is, that's where you just pinch off the finished blossom and I keep the seeds and I label them and I put them in these little things. So these ones are actually quite old. They're 2012, but that's okay because I find that my seeds usually work pretty good especially with this potting soil mix. So I put my seeds on a plate 
And then I get a toothpick and I dip the toothpick in some water, okay? Because I was told ages ago that you should never touch your seeds with your hand. Now I'm gonna take one of the cells that we just watered with the really hot water and Beastmaster, since he's got the gloves, or he can give me the gloves. Okay, um, okay. I have pretty small hands. There we go. See, they do fit. I have really small hands. So here's what I do. I take my two fingers and we're just going to very gently poke down the cells, each cell, the dirt in each cell. Okay. Then I'm going to take these off. And I'm going to use my toothpick, dip it in water, and I'm going to use it to pick up a seed. See how I've got a seed there? See the seeds right there? They're very thin seeds. I'm going to put two seeds per cell, and there's nine cells in this little container. Oh, come on, toothpick, pick it up. Here, we'll try a different one. There we go. I'm going to put two in each one. And then Beastmaster is going to go grab our seeding mix. Cut seeding mix. Okay. Come on, pick them up. Put some more water on it. I did. But if you put too much, then it gets stuck to the plate. There. So we're going to do all nine of these cells with two seeds. And like I said, you're not supposed to touch them with your fingers, but my toothpick is not working on these. Hey, See, what you gotta do, you gotta go Yeah, because I wasn't doing that at all. Okay, <laughs> so we're using our fingers. Because the toothpick is not a proper toothpick and it's not working. Did you get one in there? Yeah, you did. So one more. <coughs> we don't know if these are going to work, but just try to use a toothpick. Since we don't have any real toothpicks, we use this fake toothpick and... It's just a plastic stick, and I think the wood is part of the... Okay, so then we have... We've got enough. Kay. We've got our seating mix. Oh, I need the glove again. Actually, I need the scoop. And the glove. Oh, oh yee, shoot. I got the scoop. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the leftover potting mix. We're going to sprinkle it on the top. Okay. There we go. And we're going to push it down, not hard, but just gently. And then Beastmaster is going to go grab me a popsicle stick from the white bin. And I think there's a pen in there too. Okay, so grab me a popsicle stick. if one of these say marigolds. Oh, I got one. I had one from last year that already said marigolds. We're going to put that in this cell, but kind of sideways so that the lid will still go on. Yeah, it's the wood, right? <coughs> so, we're putting that back in our tray with the lid on. And... That's how we're going to do it for all the cells in the tray. We're not going to make you sit here and watch us do that. But we will come back when we do a different kind of seed. Be back in a moment. Here's a better example. We've got a popsicle stick. And I'll show you how 
that makes it easier to pick up the seeds. So you just put it in, you grab the seed. It's something to do with the wood. You need to have a wooden to pick up the seeds. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it's me. There we go. See how it picks it up? There we go. There. So that's what you need. I usually use a toothpick, but it looks like for these seeds, the popsicle stick's working just fine. So that's what we meant for you to do. Okay. Okay, so we're back. And Beastmaster is doing the last cell. So what are we doing next? Little channel? I'm not sure. What should we do next? Got pepper seeds in here. There we go. You got all that full? Not yet. There you go. You got like three in there, four in there. Yeah. That was well finish these seeds though. <coughs> okay. So there. All the seeds are planted. Okay, so now what we're going to do, you're going to work up on your stick. And when you're done, you take like a sharpie and a popsicle stick or something. So they don't get, so, the, so you don't mix up the plants. And you just, when you're done seeding, you just put a little covering of dirt over top. And then you just go... Yeah. And you're done. And this whole tray we did of marigolds. Now these are the French marigolds. They're not the full size ones. The English ones. So I don't know if the other ones are called English, but <clears throat> so there we go. Those are done. So we're gonna pause here. I just wanted to show you how we finish them off. Oh and we're going to put them on one of the shelves in our greenhouse because we want them to stay up high so they get all that nice warm air. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're back and our helper Beastmaster is going to fill the pot. This time we are planting lettuce for his hermit crabs. If you want to see one of those hermit crab videos, Go to his site, which I will put a link in the bottom. Okay, now that, no, that's good. You had it perfect. Okay. Now that can go over here and do the next one. Okay. In the oh. tray, sweetie, remember? Okay, um, you see the thing that I hate about these pots, they always just kind of bend when you go to scoop things with them. So, there we go, we got two. And these are just upcycled containers from um, friends and family. They got bedding plants and they gave us our containers. I have offered to grow plants for them, but they figure it takes too long. You should be wearing your gloves for that part. Yeah, it's fine. So, I'm just going to mix the dirt a little more. Apparently, I didn't do a very good mixing job. Um... And know that we're not professionals, we're just showing you what we do. And this we're doing for lettuce. And the reason we're doing them in these pots is because Beastmaster is going to put the pot, once it's got a fair growth of lettuce, he's going to put the pot right into his hermit crab tank, and then they can have fresh, live-growing lettuce to eat whenever they want. When they want. And we're going to do 10 so that 
um, when one gets eaten down, then he can put another one in. Normally when I do lettuce, no, a little bit more in that one. <coughs> Pardon me. Normally when I do lettuce, um, I do it in a planter, which I'll show you after. You see, I found out that when... Oh, that one's not mixed very well. What I was using for um, substrate in my hermit crab tank is pretty much just peat moss. Well, it, might, it has clay components in it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. This is the last one. Yep, that's the last one. So then, like we did with the other plants, We are going to pause here and we're going to get a watering can full of hot, as hot as the water will go from our tap in the kitchen. Be back in a sec. And so what we're going to do is with that hot water from our tap, we're going to give these a nice drink. We don't want them soaking wet, but we want them to have a nice drink. Then we're going to quickly... Put on the lid. Now this well, doesn't fit on here completely. Oh, it does almost. Now we'll move that out of the way and get ready to start seeding. So we're going to have our tray. We are going to have our plate for our seeds. I have an oversized plate, but that's okay. We're going to need our lettuce. Okay. We're going to need our stick. That's some good old fashioned brand name lettuce. Okay. We're going to open it. Take out a pot. Oh, yeah. Right here. Now look at how tiny these lettuce seeds this are. Fresh out of the oven. Yeah. Dirt. Oh Kay. my. God. They're tiny. So using yours, I would say maybe six seeds to a pot. You need to damp need it. Water. I need more water. That's that one. I don't know where it got put. One, two, three. And kind of spread them around. I can't tell where I put them. You didn't even get that one off. I didn't? No, you just put it in the water. Two. Three. Four. I'm putting lettuce S so that we know it's yours. Six. There we go. We got six there, and then we're gonna need more dirt. Where's the dirt? Where's the dirt? Where's the dirt? Okay. Now for lettuce, you don't put hardly any dirt at all. You're just gonna take a pinch and sprinkle it on. Just a pinch. Big pinch or small pinch? A like little pinch. Just pinch. That like good? that much? Oh, so big pinch. Okay, and then you're just going to sprinkle it on I top. Just go home. Yeah, just like that. That's plenty. Now that can go back under the lid. And boom, one done, nine more to go. Yeah, and there we go. So we're going to do one recap, and then we're going to skip to when we're done, right? Yes, exactly. And it's important to always put the lid back on your tray so that you're keeping that steam in there. And then they're nice and warm. Okay. So, remember, seed in one, seed in two, seed three. Spread them out. Put some over here. Yep, I'll get there. Four. Five 
And finally, right here. Can't tell if I got that in. Tap it on the side. Sick. Is it in? I think so. Is that it on the side? Mm -hmm. Okay. And there we go. A pinch of dirt. Okay, you just go. A pinch. Yeah, not very much at all. There you go. That's good. And boom. Give it a shake around. No, you gotta label it. And then you go, where's the Sharpie? And then you go. Okay, and then we'll put it in. So we're going to do this for the whole tray. Meet us back. So there you have it. We showed you two different ways that we do seeds. We showed you how we did our marigold seeds, and we showed you how I, we do our lettuce seeds for the hermit crabs. Um, when we do some other gardening, we'll do another video. I'm going to start a gardening and pets playlist. So I'll put that in the comments below. Please take a moment and give it a watch. Yeah, in the description below. Thanks, Beastmaster. And uh, there you go. So next time we'll do something else. We'll see how these go and and hopefully we'll get some some little sprouts from them in about two weeks. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want a notification of when we've done a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.